We've relied on our hospitals as never before during the pandemic, but could they work in the future in a better way? A prize is being launched today worth £250,000 for people to design hospitals of the future. The question for the 2021 Wilson Economics Prize is how would you design and plan new hospitals to radically improve patient experience, clinical outcomes, staff well-being, and integration with wider health and social care? We can talk now to Lord Wilson, the Conservative peer, CEO of Next, who founded the prize in 2011. Good morning. The, the question that you're asking the prize is, is a very big one. And I just wonder whether you could give us a sense of the kind of changes that you're, that you're looking for. I mean, the way that hospitals um, themselves um, have had to adapt so much over time. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a chance to really reimagine hospitals. It's a chance to um, every, every aspect of a hospital over the last 30 or 40 years, new technology, new techniques have come along, new building materials have come along to enable us to improve them. So things like um, how you feel when you walk into the reception. Is it ugly, scary, confusing, or is it calming, peaceful, welcoming, very clear where you've got to go and what you've got to do, right through to the hard end of medicine. Like how do you get test results to um, samples to and results from laboratories that are well placed within the hospital complex so that they can communicate rapidly, accurately and effectively with all the people who need to get their, their test results. Um, can you do that without completely rebuilding hospitals? I'm thinking of one that I know quite well, where it's just over time, it's had bits extended, bits extended, bits. so it has loads and loads of corridors, and they've tried to make the corridors look nice, but nonetheless, it's not a happy patient experience. No, it's uh, it's, it's terrifying and um, and confusing and inefficient. I, I, look, the government is going to spend £3.7 billion pounds um, building new hospitals and I hope they take the chance to to really to, to build from fresh to start with a clean piece of paper and to create hospitals where the movement of patients around hospitals from wards to theatres is quick efficient where you're not in a situation that I was in two years ago where on my way to a, an operation I, I was sharing lift with people who appeared to be visiting their grandmother um, you know all the designing into a new hospitals tra proper transport systems where patients visitors um, clinicians all understand exactly how they move around the hospital not only to be efficient but also to minimize cross contamination contamination between those three groups of people all those sorts of things can be engineered into new hospitals can that be done without even more investment than the government is already planning? I mean, each year we see the winter crisis. We've seen it um, much more acute this year than other years, but still every year accident and emergency are put under huge pressure. I think that, well, the government have committed to spend £3.7 billion on what they've described as the biggest hospital program, hospital building program in a generation. So the money has been earmarked. My concern isn't so much whether the money will be spent, it's making sure that the money is spent well. Um, governments are very good at announcing big sums of money being spent on things, that, but actually how much is spent will be much less important than the quality of that spending.